Hello YouTubers and Ask a Prepper here. I was taking a look at some recalls that are going on now and I thought that some of these are kind of important so I thought I'd put a quick video out so that you can check this out make sure that you don't have any of these things and if you do you can take the appropriate action. The first one here is Pfizer recalls blood pressure medication over carcinogen. And here they're saying ladies and gentlemen that Pfizer is voluntarily recalling its blood pressure drug Acuretic because there's too much of a particular impurity called let me try this out, nitrosamines, or nitrosamines. The impurity is common in water and food-like cured and grilled meats, dairies and vegetables, but it could increase the risk of cancer if you're exposed to too much of it for too long. Wow, isn't that something? That these uh, blood pressure medications here actually have carcinogens in them to a certain level. These just happen to have too much. Okay, so if you have any blood pressure medications, that are from Pfizer, make sure you check them out, ladies and gentlemen. This is pretty serious. Let's go to our next one. Morgan Foods recalls Skyline Chili. So I'm not going to go into this too much, but the 10.5 ounce can containing Skyline Chili Original Chili with a lot code of L2121, product code of CHC8T, UPY on the bottom of the can and the best buy date of December 21st, 2023. The cans are packed in trays marked as Skyline Original Chili with an expiration date of December 21, 2024. The recall product bearing the establishment numbers EST6806 inside the USDA mark of inspection was shipped to retail locations nationwide. The next one, ladies and gentlemen, is the Airborne Gummies. Reckitt recalls more than 3 million bottles of Airborne Gummies. Now, we all know what these are used for. This is like to get your immune system strengthened up. I used to use these a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put in a chainless plug. If you use these, compare this to the Nutrient Survival Immune Boost. Compare it to the Immune Boost, and you'll see that the Immune Boost is by far a better product than this. But... Nonetheless, if you have this, make sure that you check it. Let's see, here it says, let's see if they have a lot number. This recall involves only 63 and 75 count bottles of airborne gummies sold in blueberry, pomegranate, orange, and assorted fruit flavors. Jergens Moisturizer recalled over possible bacteria infection. All right, here's another one, ladies and gentlemen. You know what? This has a lot of codes. Uh, what Jergen users should look for? In the meantime, KO USA is urging consumers to stop using any of the following Jergens products. And here are all of your lock codes. You can freeze the page and check it out just in case you do have this product right here. Something that a lot of us probably have is these Olight flashlights. I actually checked mine to see if I um, had one of those, but this is not one of the little tiny ones like mine, but it says... Olight e-commerce technology recalls flashlights. The flashlights can be turned on inadvertently and overheat while stored. So I'm guessing that this is one of the flashlights that has an 18650 battery. And that's one of the things that can happen with those flashlights is that if they get turned on, let's say you have them in your pocket and they get turned on without you knowing, they can overheat. Or let's say you have them in your backpack and the button gets turned on without you knowing, they can overheat. That's why I do recommend most of these flashlights, I have one here, don't I? Let me check. Oh, here it is. Most of these flashlights come with a, with a lock feature where it allows you to lock it using this button. All right, so get your owner's manual out if you have some of those flashlights and make sure that if you're gonna put them in a, in a backpack or your pocket or something like that, that you go ahead and lock them that way they won't turn on inadvertently and then of course they can overheat and cause a fire the last one ladies and gentlemen if any of you have bought a lamborghini between the years of 2015 and 2020 a lamborghini hurricane uh, specifically make sure that you check it out because there's a recall on that now obviously ladies and gentlemen this last recall i'm just playing with you i hope that someone is watching out there that was able to get themselves a toy like this, all right? Because that means that you're doing very well, socioeconomically speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you all day how great I think Nutrient Survival is. However, I found this tool that Nutrient Survival inserted into their webpage that allows you to see for yourself exactly what it is that you are paying for when compared to other popular long-term food storage or survival foods now i'm not 
picking on Mountain House here, but I wanted to show you real quick. The Nutrient Survival Triple Mac Cheese compared to the Mountain House Creamy Macaroni and Cheese. This is what you're getting, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I think Nutrient Survival, not think, but know, is the most nutrient-dense survival food or even food that there is in the market. If you go to this tool and you just go ahead and put your cursor or your mouse over any of these nutritional items here, it tells you and it compares what it is that it has along with what Mountain House has. So, for example, if I go to protein, it shows that a serving of Triple Mac Cheese has 24% of your daily value of protein, whereas in Mountain House, it's 15%. Fiber, as you can see, 21% to zero. Omega-3s, 22% to zero. Omega-6, only 7%, but also compared to zero. And if you go ahead and put this over anything that you have any concerns over, for example, sodium, only 11% of the daily value per serving, whereas with Mountain House, you're using up 30% of your daily value. I often get asked, why is Nutrient Survival pricier than other long-term food storage companies? Well, in my opinion, it's not because you're not getting the same with other long-term food storage companies, as you see here, than you are with Nutrient Survival. Here's their Homestyle Scramble, which is compared to their breakfast skillet. And you can see right here, all you have to do is point. And I can do this all day, ladies and gentlemen. Here's the lasagna with meat sauce and even though let me point this out even though the mountain house lasagna with meat sauce has actual freeze-dried meat in it whereas nutrient survival is no meat at all it's vegetarian look at this 22 percent of your daily value of protein whereas in mountain house you only get 13 percent the maple almond crunch which is awesome i like to have it with milk and a little bit of honey compared to the oxen farms oats and honey granola same story ladies and gentlemen you are getting what you pay for, which is the nutrients that your body needs every day in order to survive and thrive, not just survive. Calories is king. This is what you're getting when you get Oxen Farms Oats and Honey Granola. Now, like I said, I'm not picking on any particular company. I just want people to know that this is the very best nutrient-dense survival food in the market. So feed your freedom with Nutrient Survival.